Good morning students. Today I am going to explain the signal conditioning circuit for strain cage. So what is meant by strain cage? Strain cage is like a resistor but it has a high heat dissipation capacity because it is made up of thin sheet of metal or wire. Okay. The principle used in the strain cage is piezo resistive effect. It means if the length of the material increases diameter decreases. That is R which is equal to rho L by A. Rho means resistivity of the material, L means length of the material, A means area of the cross section. Strain cage is an electrical sensor. Its resistance varies by applied force. So the application of the strain cage is used in the Bay Bridge to measure the large capacity of the weight. Understand? Here, R1, R2, R3 is used as an ordinary resistor. R4 only we are using strain cage. Understand? V1 is a source voltage for this bridge circuit. So here we are using instrumentation amplifier section to boost up the sensor output voltage in terms of millivolts or microvolts to volts. So by applying the external force to the strain cage, its resistance value changes from original value to some other value. So I have to change the value of strain cage from 4 ohm to 5 ohm manually. So the bridge will be unbalanced and the corresponding bridge output voltage will be indicated on node VA and node VB. So how to calculate the node voltage VA and VB by applying the voltage divider rule. We have to measure the node voltage VA and VB. So the opposite resistance divided by total resistance into V1 we are getting VA and the procedure is same for VB. So after find out the bridge output voltage, we have to design a signal conditioning circuit for 10 volts. Understand? So what is the formula for instrumentation amplifier? V0 which is equal to 1 plus 2 R by Rg into V in. V in means the bridge output voltage that is differential voltage. So your record output voltage is 10 volts. So your sensor output voltage is 97 millivolts. You have to assume the resistor value RS 1K and you have to find out RG. What is your RG value? 21.5 ohms. So you have to apply the values in the given circuit and simulate it. You have to save the program and go to simulate then click edit simulation command. Understand? So you have to put 1 seconds for stop time. That means the total time period for the x axis is 1 second. And the time to start saving data 0 means it starts from 0 seconds. Maximum step time means it start increases from 0.1 seconds. Okay. Then you have to run the program. You have to change the window from horizontally to vertically. You have to touch your probe in the node VA. So what is your theoretical uh, VA? 357 millivolts. Understand? So you go to touch your probe in the output graph. So, you are getting the practical output voltage. So, theoretically, your node voltage VA is 357. So, pra practically, you are getting the same voltage. Okay. And again, you have to measure the node voltage VB. So, what is your uh, theoretical node voltage VB? 454. So, practically, you are getting the same voltage. Understand? So, finally, you have to measure the output voltage. So, your design voltage is for 10 volts, but practically you are getting 9.156 volts, okay. Understand? So, strain cage is used to measure the large capacity of the weight it is used in the wave bridge. Understand? Thank you.